Hi, in this video we will look at creating a new HTML file using Adobe Dreamweaver CS 5.5. Now this demonstration will be using a Mac, but you'll have the, basically the same steps in using a Windows version. So when you start Dreamweaver uh, and you get the welcome screen, one way to create a new HTML file is to select this option where it says create new HTML. So I'm going to demonstrate this one first. So when I click, it's going to give me a blank new HTML file. And there's nothing special about this, no other information that's added, no style. If we look at the code view, you can see that um, this was set for HTML5 version, so we have a basic skeleton. So that's one way. So if you choose a new HTML file from the welcome screen, we get just a plain vanilla HTML page that you can then save and edit and modify from there. Another technique that can speed up your workflow is to go to File and then New. And when we follow this, this step, we have different page types and we're just really focusing on HTML in this in this video example. So we have HTML and then we have some different layout options and none is what we got when we just chose new HTML from the welcome screen. But from here you can click on some of these different layout options and you can see a thumbnail version of what the layout will be like and a little description. So you can come through and decide what you want your basic layout to begin looking like. So let's say we wanted two column, left sidebar, header, and footer. So we have the header, footer, a left column, and then a main content area. And what you want to do is choose your doc type for uh, whatever your purposes are. I'm going to choose HTML5 and what layout CSS means add to head means that it's going to put the style sheet information in the head section of this one document. We can link to an existing style sheet if you have one created. Uh, in this case I'm going to choose create new file. In this case I want an external style sheet that I'm going to use for all of the pages in my website. So I'm going to choose create new file and then when I click create the first thing it does is it says okay what do you want to name your style sheet and it gives you a default name based on the style that you selected and you can change this so I'm just going to say my styles and it takes me to the root folder that I set up when I created or defined my website in Dreamweaver and then I'm going to click Save. And voila, we have a, a basic layout that is set up with a header and a footer, a left sidebar, and uh, some basic uh, filler content in here. And then you can continue going into um, edit and modify this from here. So if I wanted to save this file, I can see up here that it's untitled to and it's not saved. It does show me that it attached it to mystyles.css. So I'm just going to choose file and save. And since this will be my starting page in my site, I'm going to call it index. And click save. And in the files panel over here, this I have the site already set up. I demonstrated how to create a site in another video. And it will keep all of my files together for my site that I need. So I have my index page. And then I have my styles CSS file. So in doing this, it actually, I'm going to switch over to the code view and show you that um, it created a link to the mystyles.css file.
So that's a basic introduction on creating a new HTML document and saving it into a site that you have defined and creating an external style sheet. And now if I uh, create other pages from this, I can connect to this style sheet. Or once I have this set up, I can go in here and uh, duplicate my index page to make a copy of it and it will already be connected to this style sheet.